Welcome back to the fucking last fucking Master Blaster of right now. I'm sure we'll, like, I'm sure we're actually in sequence. Sequence. Last one of this session, yeah, first okay. session of edited out. If Holy anyone... shit, has this been a session. Oh my god, it's been like nine hours. And we have not finished, no, we have not done nine hours, like, <gasps> of work, oh, you yeah. know? Uh, oh, we... I mean, I mean, the, uh, the next 40 episodes, all in this session. <laughs> that doesn't work wrong. by math, wrong, probably. Sure. Um, but, I. Uh, Answering the question that you posed, oh, yeah, so I, which so, let's repeat yeah. the question. So please. anyway, I asked I, I asked Billy how what he thought about the switch's launch. launch. Oh, I can oh I can switch weapons. Just with yes, that. we know we know you can switch. I weapons. died. I mean, I, like I you don't have to bring up the weapon wheel. I can I can just press it. Oh, that, well, yeah, that yeah. that's 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 common in shooters. Oh, right? I know, so but I didn't too. think you could. Yeah. Um. So I, I I asked him what he thought about the switch's launch lineup, and then I told him the launch lineup. I. Uh, and I think that I think it was great. I think that their launch lineup is great because let's see, it was Bomberman, Zelda, One Two Switch, Shovel Knight, Setsu, fucking whatever. I am Setsu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Bomb and and uh, not Bomberman. Fuck. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shovel Knight's yeah. fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Shovel Knight's fantastic. And Spectre of Torment was exclusive but it wasn't new. to the Switch. Oh, was it? Yeah. It was it's a, a new it, thing. It's new. It's oh, brand okay. new. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. For uh, now. Legend of Legend of Zelda and the new Shovel Knight exclusive, uh, both great. Mm -hmm. Bomberman's cool or whatever. I mean, it's got like <laughs> six reviews. Six. Uh, I mean, like average of six, not like yeah. Got I'm just like, like it's reviews. you know it's what it's uh, even if even if it was fantastic, like even if it was a great Bomberman, it's yeah, still just what, Bomberman. What the, yeah, what the like, fuck does Bomberman appeal to? Yeah, I know uh, it appeals to some people, obviously, but uh, <laughs> yeah. not fucking. Someone's that many. buying it, making it. Um, yeah. One two switch is fun. It it exists as a novelty. Yeah, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna give it like a five. Uh, yeah. And uh, Setsuna, I know nothing about it. I can't say anything about it. But because I can't say anything about it, I have no opinion. I think it doesn't matter as yes! far as the launch. Though. Sorry, that's fine. That fucking ball. Fabulous <laughs> defeating! No, say goodbye to your precious Exodia. Fabulous, fabulous. Your precious, fabulous. <laughs> But because I know nothing about uh, one two Setsuna, or, or I've been <laughs> one two <up>. Setsuna, <laughs> bomber Setsuna. No, it doesn't Setsuna. matter as a launch lineup title. Um, if I can't just know what it is at a, at a glance, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter as a as a at a glance title. <laughs> but Shovel Knight, really cool, would not have carried the launch lineup by itself. No, it would have just been a cool thing. People would not have bought the Switch for it. No. People bought the Switch for Zelda. For fucking Zelda. One hundred percent. The Zel Z the you uh, know the game that's only rated like the on average third, second best. Yeah, second third, best. Oh, it's did it, did it's it tied with GTA Five. Oh, okay. For second uh, and a bunch of other games, yeah. of course. But like, uh, Ocarina of Time is number one. Which, by the way, like I think GTA Five is a fantastic game, but I feel I definitely don't feel like it's the second fucking best game. I mean, me either. But I. Uh, but I uh, maybe maybe like top fifty. If we yeah, still then. You know, top 50? a lot of games. Just... Of all time? May, yeah, it's, that, it's still I put, feels... I put it in like... I think I put it in top 100? like 20. No, I think I put no. it in top 20. I don't I don't know. I like it a lot, but I feel like... I just mean like objectively. I don't know. Among, among populace, I would put like, as like a statement as a game. True, true. I would put it in the 20th. I just... I, te I tend um. to... I, for anyone who might be getting really angry about how I feel about GTA 5, I love it. I just tend to... I tend to rate my shit low because I don't trust yeah, my yeah. own opinions of things. Sure. Um, But I... In Legend of Zelda sold that shit. Legend of Zelda was what people bought that for. Absolutely. And I, uh, if it had come out at a different time, if it if it had to if it had to come out later, uh, or if it had released if they had decided to release that shit for the Wii U, this would have been a really weak lineup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. But with Breath of the Wild, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Like you, like as like, like rating thing. the lineup itself, rating the launch, eight to nine out of ten. That's great. You know, yeah. the only the only way that it could have been better was to have another sh like like at even miles. I think stronger. I think the thing that would made it like you, perfect to people so people would shut their fucking mouths. Mario Kart Deluxe. I, that I, game's yeah, done. Yeah, that yeah. game's fucking it should, done. It should have come out. It's I also just really wanted it. Skyrim to come out. I, th I it's think it's done, that dude. Been a it's, long it's been developed time. Like fucking eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it it there's there's no reason it should have come out. I think that I think that even could have pumped it up alone because that would have been that yeah. would have brought. A I lot think of that also that makes the Switch look things. bad. The it fact that it's not out with yeah, launch, yeah. and also the fact that I don't think it's the remastered edition. Oh no! Yeah, we talked about that. I think that might be a hardware issue, which I can understand. That's what I mean. That's why. That's why but it makes, it, makes look it look bad. bad. Yeah, because yeah. it's not powerful to, to play the one the other consoles have. Whatever. You're also playing it on the go. Yeah. That's huge. The, and it's not going to get mods, and that's it. That's I like. Oh, that's, oh I assume it's not. Other console mods. Yeah, you didn't know that? For for Skyrim? 
PS4 and Xbox. Oh shit! Yeah, I knew they. I knew they like recently supported it with a uh, GTA uh, 5. But I didn't I'm sorry, I'm skipping actually. all this dialogue, but it really fucking doesn't matter. Who, who cares? It, I mean, it, I'm it sorry, Master Blaster uh, guys. We love this game, but we. You can tell by the way that we're playing this game, we're not yeah. here for the dialogue at this moment. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they let it let you skip it really fast. Yeah, and I've read all of this too. I've played this far. Yeah. Um, it, Ricky owns these fucking. He bought the game. Love, yeah. love him for that alone. It's true. Um, bought again too. But oh, what the fuck are we talking about? The launch. You'd have to fucking delve into my Skyrim. Oh yeah, Skyrim. yeah. It's probably not gonna have mods. Oh, launch rating. Yeah. Um, oh, it's 100 not gonna have fucking mods. No and that's way. huge too. Like that, like you know, Skyrim on the go. Cool. Yeah. But now mods ah. have, because they're on consoles and the PC, mods are on every single place that people can currently play Skyrim. Mods are essentially now part of vanilla Skyrim. Yeah. Like, there are like 20 mods that people on PC have considered part of vanilla Skyrim for the past four years. I get you. No, I totally right. get you. And so that's going to, that's going to really hurt its yeah. version of Skyrim. Here's the thing about the Switch. I like, I hear people like, oh, like, uh, it's never going to get third party support. And I don't think that... Third party support, their third party developers are gonna let a, a a system being harder to develop for stop them. If there's a fucking money to be made, they're gonna fucking make that money. Oh yeah, that's no. why. The, like the the people. If people say third party developers just aren't gonna do it, they're stupid. Yeah, like like people like they they the fewer maybe. Yeah, that sure, makes sense. Some. Like, there's like, going to be a, a barrier to entry, Activision, but it's not EA, going to be enough. If they can make a fat load of cash on the Switch... People make VR games. They, they VR go. games they have shit go. returns and are difficult oh. to make right now. Oh, yeah. They're still coming out in droves. Like with the Wii, people still try to... People try to make games for that. And it's like, look at that compared to the Xbox 360. Yeah. The Wii U didn't make money. No, that's people what, made that, Connect me, games. Uh, yeah, exactly. Shut up right there. <laughs> people made Connect games. For me... People are making Connect yeah. games. <laughs> For me, that that is what made the Wii U not have third-party support. Not not that it wasn't powerful enough. Not not that it had a weird tablet to, that they had to develop on. It's because they didn't get to make fucking money, no matter what they say. And that's their business. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's why. Don't don't like try to make excuses for the company. Like oh, they just did, didn't want to put the effort in. It's like if they didn't want to fucking lose money. Yeah, money's kind of important yeah. when you're so, making and, things for money. And the Switch is off to an awesome start. It might not mean that much because. It is the best Nintendo launch ever. I don't know if you knew that. Um, I didn't. By numbers, you mean? Yeah. That's cool. It's the most successful. And and successful. And uh, Breath of the Wild is the most successful uh, standalone launch title, which is impressive considering Mario 64 and Mario uh, Super Mario World were both launch, launch titles. titles. But standalone. Obviously, Wii Sports is a count because that was fucking... Wait, wait, more than more than any of the Halo titles? No, Nintendo. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Did those launch say, with any of the games? I'm pretty sure. I think Halo One was a launch title. That's awesome. Yeah, and Halo One was fu literally revolutionary. Yeah, like that's not even a question. That is that was a revolutionary game. Sure, that's an. Um, that's I don't know how strong its launch might have been because who knows? Like, yeah. I don't. I don't think Bungie was like a really tried and true developer before yeah. Halo One. And also, I hear the argument like, well, I mean, even if even if like the we which is successful and then d third party developers. Want to develop for it? What's gonna? What's the like? Why are people? Why would people rather buy it for the Switch? Because you can fucking they, take they, it everywhere. Well, well, also, just if you have a Switch, you know. Well, yeah. Well, people... I just mean like, why would they rather get a Switch than a PS4 if the PS4 is more powerful? If they have a choice, if they're both the same, they play the same games, but yeah. the PS4 plays it more powerful. What's the difference? And it's the Switch can play it some, everywhere. That's some huge. people, some people do that. Like people buy PS4 Pros just for the better graphics and the, yeah. The 60, and it's like it's all about what you value. Stuff, you value. Yeah. Good games or shit games. If you well, shit games, buy everything but to buy a good game, but to your fanboyism is <laughs> I know. coming out. I, I, I slowly, I slowly <laughs> like devolved. <laughs> but I guess it's a <laughs> 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 okay. That was fine. Uh, what were we, I keep making that like scream in this game. <laughs> 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 I God, I had a fucking, I had a, I had a place to go from there. And I uh, I was talking could, about this. Mm, no. no. All right. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think I, think I like the, the Switch launch. It is it's good. Legend of Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, fantastic launch title. Fuck L knack. Fucking knack, dude. What? Okay, the fucking the Xbox One had Sunset Overdrive, which is cool. I mean, it's still like, like I said, I think it's a good game, but yeah. I I wouldn't I. If I'm being generous, yeah. I, I would I would rate it like a like a like an eight. I honestly I yeah. think it's a seven. The, you know, it, it launched with Sunset Overdrive, which and looks that, cool. like. Like, by the way, I th actually, I think 
I think we should explain our rating system. Because we that's an important thing that we're gonna talk about okay, yeah. a lot, you know. Well, hold on. I'm fucking before I forget my point. Um Oh yeah, Xbox One launched with Sunset Overdrive, which is cool, but that average, you know, 7.5, which, uh, it's not bad, I'm not trying to say that's bad, yeah. but Zelda fucking averaged 9.8. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It has a, that's it's ridiculous. Just a, it, is, it is a wonderful game. The uh, it is, it's a, it's a open, massive open world RPG with all the polish of a, of a Nintendo title. That's the title. best part, dude, is, yeah. it, is that. Imagine, imagine if Skyrim didn't, well actually, I genuinely think Skyrim might be a worse game if it had too much polish. I mean, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean, because, like, half of it is like, oh, that's fucking feely. Right. I, I feel like Zelda accomplishes that derpiness, too, with its, like, ragdolls. Like, when you're like, oh! Yeah, <laughs> and, like, roll yeah. down a cliff. It's not, definitely not to Skyrim. Oh, it's, oh, it's, not like, it's not like a, you look a little worse for the <laughs> You look a little worse for the world. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but it's just like a fucking... Guy, like, guy walks out of a cave, dude, dude on a horse literally flies out of the sky, <laughs> says, you look a little worse for the world. And, he, and, and then he drifts off like, into the yeah. sky again. So wait, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do in this room? Kill yourself. Shit! <laughs> like, uh, hidden, it says, are there hidden walls? Hidden indoors? Oh, it says I'm in a boss room. Well, I, I, at least it's a save point before it. Maybe it's not a boss room. Maybe there's just fucking nothing here. Do you have to... Do you, do you ever have to do anything to activate bosses? Maybe you have to kill all the enemies on the floor, or do the enemies respawn every time you go in the room? I'm kind of doubt it, because it's not really clear. I'm usually pretty good with it. Yeah. You, I, yeah, you, I mean, you, normally I blame myself when something is not, uh, when I don't know what to do in a game. Alright. But, we got, we got past that point. Our rating system for shit is Oh, important. yeah. Um, we, me, me and R Ricky and I both, both feel the same way about rating systems, and, I, and we feel like they're, they're often misused with stuff. I feel like, unless, unless you rate on a, on a curve where five is the average, it do, like, rating systems don't really make sense. Like if you say s seven is the average, what's the what's the point of having the rest of the numbers? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I I I really only feel like the middle number should be the average. Sure. I uh, so we we rate five as the average game, just by definition. Um, yeah. And a lot of a lot of video game publications, a lot of video game uh, reviewers, I've been finding them to be better about it in 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 like the last year mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, but five will often be just a pile of shit. Sure. Like if something oh, yeah. is rated that's, that's below that's, that's, like that's, six, that's, it's that's, ruined. Yeah, that's don't buy it. That's yeah. fucking you're not buying this game. Uh, whereas we, whereas we we will generally say like if we if we're playing something and just and and don't hate it, it's a game, and we're like, yeah, there are good parts there, but there are also just as many bad parts. We're going to say that's a five. Yeah. Uh, 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 and we do agree on a lot of that, but I do disagree. I think that like one through ten rating systems should just not exist. But Billy yeah. loves them. And well, I, I get that. well, I think it's not that I it's not that I love them. I think I think shorthands are useful. Yeah, I think I I think people are not always are, are not as oh, a yeah, whole totally. people are not going to have the time or the attention span to, to always read reviews. I get that, that but I think and, like, I also and analyze reviews. Uh, anybody who's watched the YouTube channel Game Explain, they use the like they use they use the meh or hated meh uh, liked liked a lot and loved. And that just that's skip that, it in the video and you that, know that well that also inherently inherently makes it clear that the, that the thing is subjective, which is something that the I have a pro I have a problem with the one out of ten system for that because it makes it seem like it's an objective yeah, value. Exactly, that's what I mean. Um, so no, I, 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 I have the I have the same problems that you have yeah. with the one out of ten system. I just I I do not have time to tell people all of the nuances that I feel about games or movies or fucking whatever. If if someone if someone asks me, hey, how is this thing? Mm -hmm. If they're if they're like you if if you ask me. You want me to tell you everything I feel about that thing. Yeah. If Ass Hat at the at the <laughs> fucking gas station asks me, he wants to know. Uh, it was it, it it sucked. Three out of ten. Yeah. You know, fucking that that kind of stuff. All right. But like, okay. So my thing is, is like the solution to every to, one through ten is obviously like it, fucking Jesus. The the one through three one through ten system is obviously super subjective because everybody every has every rating system this. is subjective. Well, that's as far uh, not, as rating media. Well, everybody knows like what loving something means. <laughs> that's no. Well, yeah, but then, but it's sub it's subjective. It means you love it. No, I mean like what I mean as in like the the actual fact of it existing. Oh, the oh, you want the, the very th fact that we have to tell people how we use our one out of ten system. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah exactly. Like seven means to us something different to other people. Yeah, yeah. But. Um, everyone knows. Every everyone can understand how you yeah. feel about it. And, and loved it, liked it. And, and the whatever. solution is the everybody's solution is is have a 
definition in the site somewhere of like, 10 means this, 9 means this. Yeah. Uh, but if you have to fucking do that, if you have to have an extra step, why even keep the system? <laughs> It just, just momentum, dude. Yeah. That's all that it is, you know. I guess, I, but like, that's why I keep it. That's the only reason I keep it is because it's 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 more difficulty for me to, uh, like I, like, I can just start using it in my daily life. But I don't. It's it is easier for me to still just say uh, seven out of ten, five being average. Well, but if someone go even still the same scenario, if someone asks you, um, in a convenience store, how'd you like the movie? Do you say I liked it, <laughs> or I loved it? It was a great movie. And yeah. Why? I think I just. I don't know, I think it's a better system. Anyway, fucking, we're way over. Um, this is the end of our session. Fuck, I'm gonna- I mean, you know what, I'm gonna die. This bug's gonna kill me. A giant tank. Uh, love this game, we'll probably continue. We um, don't- we don't know what, what we'll be at next, but we know you guys, that is to say, us, Ricky and I, are us along maybe for a the few ride. Of our friends. Yeah. Uh, you know, the thing is, fucking, like, we were, maybe we'll do Bioshock next. I really wanted to play Bioshock, but we fucking can't. We gotta cause... work out however that's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy an adapter, first of all, because we, we can only, on the PS3, you can only record with, um... Component. Component, yeah, yeah. So, so we need to get the adapter to use our capture card. Um, anyway, thanks for fucking yeah, sticking and around. Yeah, and Minish Trivia, why, uh, I hope you guys love that that piece of, uh, fucking. tech problems. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wacky, right, wacky, master blasty. Yeah, it's uh, it, here in California, it's actually seven in the morning. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, they're not gonna nuke California to fucking kill us. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So it's seven in the morning. Edited out is about to be edited out. 